Yo, check it out. The Bible says to give and it will be given to you. Press down, shaken together, and running over will be placed into your bosom. Now, I know that this past scripture has been misused and abused by pastors and preachers preaching for pulpits all over the world, all around the world, uh, every single Sunday, you know, trying to force feed you to give an offering. Hallelujah. But what I'm trying to tell you right now is that this passage of scripture is actually extremely powerful and never more needed than right now in 2020. This super simple uh, principle for attraction, attracting really anything that you want, but attracting wealth specifically, uh, requires only a small investment to get started. It doesn't require you giving money necessarily. It just requires you to begin to learn to give. Now, when we think about give and it shall be given, if you are giving peace from the storehouse with the abundance of your heart, the mouth speaks. When your heart is filled with peace and you are therefore giving peace, peace returns to you. The what you give is the what you receive. So if I'm giving peace, I get peace. I was recently watching this. I don't watch these videos. I don't watch the news, but I recently uh, just happened to be on social media scrolling and I saw this video of a lady screaming at a police officer. It was a black lady screaming at a white police officer because this police officer was giving her son a ticket, but instead of just giving the ticket, she's now calling for backup, so on and so forth. And obviously this was a black woman and a black son. And uh, the, all this racial tension here in the year 2020. Well, I immediately, I cut it off and I immediately just said, man, give peace. Give peace. Uh, the, the officer had her hand on her gun and the woman's like, why you need your hand on that gun? You need to have your hand on that gun. I tell you right now what you gonna do, you gonna shoot me. And I was thinking to myself, my God, lady, you are escalating the situation. The lady had, the officer has her hand on her gun, probably because she doesn't know what the fuck you're gonna do right now, dude. So my whole point was like, give peace. When you're at peace, peace is returned to you. There would be no reason for that lady to have her hand on her gun if you were at peace. If you, instead of assuming that they were gonna racially profile you, instead of assuming that they were racist, assume the best. Love always expects the best, dude. And so this is extremely important in our day and age, in our time right now. The other thing is, there's economic situations going on. Excuse me for my sniffle. It's like the first week of fall. My nose always does this, it seems. So we have this whole, uh, uh, all the economic uh, possibility of disaster that exists out there, man. And, and I'm telling you right now, dude, like, it's never more important financially from a wealth perspective to learn to give, to learn what it means to give. And uh, this includes food, this includes taking care of your neighbors, this includes, um, yeah, wealth, absolutely. But I, wanna, I would like to ask you, when was the last time you just gave out of the abundance of your wealth? So check it out. I've been teaching for more than 20 years and I've had so many people over those years say, Silas, dude, when I get rich, when I start to make money, I'm going to sow into you, man. I'm going to really give into your ministry because I believe that you're impacting. You've changed my life and I believe that you're going to impact the world and I really want to give into that thing. And I would look at him and say, thank you. It's, it's sweet of you to think. And then I would look at him and say, if you can't give out of your poverty, you'll never give out of your wealth. It's so important for you to understand right now that if you want to get, if you want to be wealthy, you must give as if you are wealthy. Start being generous to your neighbors, to the trash man, to the, the, the mail person, to your barista at the coffee shop. Start being generous to your uh, plumbers or your, your co-workers, your, your employees. Your, be, be generous, man. The world is in desperate need of generosity. The world is in desperate need of your peace. The world is in desperate need of, of your love. And never, never more than right now is it important to step 
to step away from this merry-go-round of misery that we've seen to, that that humanity seems to be on, and on to a merry-go-round of pleasure and of joy. And I say merry-go-round because you give here and you receive here. You give and you receive. You give and you receive. You give and you receive. And this is just the nature of life. Sow and you will reap. And so there's three W's that I like to talk about. When I do coaching on this topic, on this subject, there's three W's that I talk about. It's the way, the what, and the why. The way you give is the way you receive. The what you give is the what you receive. And the why you give is the why you will receive. And this is uh, of extreme importance for us to understand. Right now, I'm just going to touch on these real quick. Let's start with the what. If you give financially, you receive financially. If I give in peace, I return, I receive in peace. If I give in love, I receive in love. How about let's go to the way, the way in which we give. The way in which we give is is, uh, is very important. It's oftentimes misplaced or forgotten. If I give, and it's very in a very discreet way, it's kind of like a, I'm just trying to help somebody out, a lot of times that's how I'm going to receive. If I give in an open way, a lot of times that's how I'll receive. Um, but understand this, the way in which we give gets a little bit complicated because the way is directly tied to the why. Why you're giving. If you're giving to receive, you've already missed the entire point of giving. Yes, you are sowing to reap a harvest, but we're also sowing because we have a love and an honor for the land. We have a love and an honor for our, our for other human beings. It's not just a reap a harvest for myself, it's a reap a harvest for the world. One of the, one of the mantras that I, I, on a daily basis, will say, is that I will give. I am giving $1 million a month away. Not that I'm generating $1 million a month, but that I'm giving $1 million a month away because my heart has always been to get so that I can give, to receive so that I can give. I don't need much. But my God, I love to give. I love to share my life with the world. It's the reason why I'm here. It's the reason why I've continued to teach to this day. This is the reason why I continue to give the way that I give in whatever capacity that looks. It hasn't always been financial, but it is always giving. I am always giving. And I want to encourage you right now to give. Stop thinking only of yourself and start thinking of others. Look around you. Look for opportunities and ways to give of yourself, of your time, of your money, of your peace, of your love. And if you're if you seem to be getting and attracting chaos, attracting drama, attracting anger, attracting rage, attracting violence, then I want you to look within yourself. What are you conscious of? What are you spending a lot of time with on TV? What are you spending a lot of time with and, and focusing your attention on? And um, you'll find that if you switch that focus, you switch, switch that attention, then you also switch what you're attracting because what you're conscious of, you will manifest. I just want to let you guys know, every single one of you right now, that right now it's uh, uh, September. I had to look at the date because I'm never aware of what time it is. It's September 16th. This month, starting in October, I want to give one month of coaching away to three participants, three people. And it's just going to be on this one topic of give and it will be given. And uh, you might think, well, my God, how much coaching could you possibly do on that? Well, you'd be surprised. It's going to be four group sessions. And this would normally be a $1,200 value. If you were to come to me and want to pay for my coaching, that's what you would pay for this opportunity to have this coaching. So I'm going to give <clears throat> to three of you. I just want to give right now. And so I want to give to three of you the opportunity to have um, a group coaching session, four group coaching sessions with me through the month of October. If you would like to be considered for that, shoot me an email at lifeartistrycoach at gmail or that's lifeartistrycoach at gmail or drop a comment below with your email. Let me know. Somehow get your email to me so that we can get in contact. I'm going to pick three people for this, uh, for this opportunity. So if you're interested in shifting what you attract to your life, and again, we need this more now in 2020 than we ever have, then please hit me up comment uh go to my information yeah, i think my email is there on the on the youtube so go check it out there drop me an email let me know drop me a comment let me know you're interested and um i'd love to for you to participate in this unique opportunity i love you guys so much man i hope you have a beautiful day and remember there's one more thing the more you awaken the more you play mm -hmm.